Greetings captains, Gunship here. Hope you're doing well. While this bomb is falling, let's agree on one thing. The quicker you can kill the enemy, the quicker you can get on the killing the next one, and the less chance he has to damage you. With that in mind, let's get started. We need to turn you into a ruthless and efficient killer. Like here, hull break the ship, ammo rack it, or if needs be, kill the crew. The later is probably the one that takes the longest, but sometimes that's really the only and sometimes the quickest way of getting rid of the target. Let's start with some common coastal ships. I'm highlighting for you where the ammunition is stored, and that is clearly where you need to aim for the best effect. And we're going to do a little demonstration of that. But just bear in mind that all the ships have a gun at the front and ammunition just underneath. So here's a quick example. I'm using the wrong ammunition, so SAP ammunition, and I'm shooting in the wrong place. Even if I'm in a Muffet, this is a fantastic destroyer compared to a little PT boat. It takes me a full 50 seconds, so I'm speeding this clip up, until I actually kill the target. Compared to if you have the right ammunition, which would be high explosive against a little ship like this, it literally is the one shot. Sometimes though, killing the ammunition is not enough to get the ship to explode. And here's a good example where I first make sure I take care of the gun, and then I just work my way down the ship, kill the crew, and we are good to go. It may be less obvious in this example, but the principle is the same. As he's turning his ship, I'm just letting my gunshots follow down the side of him and take him out. Simple as that. And then I get a second ship coming along here on the left side in a second, there it is. And as you can see here, I'll hit the woodwork a little bit, but again, just aim at the front. And uh, that was enough to get him down. Moving on to destroyers and cruisers, it's sort of the same deal. The ammunition tends to be just under the turret, but sometimes that can vary. In the case of the Detroit, they're a little bit further back at the rear. So the safest place is always to shoot at the front. And generally speaking, the ships are facing you, so it's an obvious place to shoot. Another good reason to aim at the front is because you have the bridge there and the crew for gunnery control, etc. tends to be located in that particular area. So it's densely populated with crew and therefore you take that out, you diminish the crew quicker as well. The middle section of the ship is less useful. You shoot there and you might slow it down a little bit because the Indians may stop and that can occasionally be useful as you are moving through the ship shooting at every section, but the front and the rear first, then the middle afterwards. Don't get sucked into a false sense of security with the artillery director or fire control system where you have the two green ticks on top of each other. That will shoot at the middle of the ship and actually you don't want that. So make sure you aim to the left or to the right depending on which way the ship is sailing so you actually hit the guns and the bridge and make sure you take that out. It's sort of a deliberate act that you have to train your brain to but after a little while it sort of becomes second nature and you will take up ships quicker as a result. As for the boats, the best way to show this off is in the simulation or test environment. So here we are in the Moffat shooting the same target with the same projectile. And as you can see, on the right side, I'm aiming for the ammunition. And it doesn't take very long before I actually kill the ship off only about 24 seconds. I don't want to wait too long for the results, so I'm now going to speed this video up. And as you can see, I'll just keep hitting the same middle, but you know, the ship is still not dead. And we're actually getting up to over two minutes before we actually manage to shoot or kill the ship. And that's just over five times as long as if you were just aiming for the ammo rack mean you could shoot another five ships under ideal conditions but you get my point moving on to battleships of course the front and the rear holds the armor storage and also in other places but generally speaking there is a thick armor belt running along the side of the ship and therefore it is much better 
to aim for either the front or the rear of the ship. Typically, there is a small area around the front where it is sort of a bit more vulnerable depending on how the shell lands. So again, it helps to aim from the front. Typically, when you shoot at battleships, it's long distance shots. You're not awfully that close to it, but it can definitely be armor racked. And as you can see in this little video clip here, I do manage to armor rack a Hugue at a short distance from a Belfast. I'm taking fire from this one. Somebody attack him! The Hugo is like right here. And he's pointing his guns away from us right now. So I'm going to... Oh, oh somebody the exploded. Shot me. The Hugo. <laughs> Who did that? I did. You one shot at a Hugo with, I a, did. with a cruiser? I know. Okay, so I did hit him twice. So let's call it a double tap. But you get the point. It makes a huge difference if you can hit in the right spot. Trying to help you out with him, Ted Commerce. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it was informative. I'm just going to leave you with a couple of fun clips here at the end. Uh, wish you all the best and uh, happy ammo racking. See you next time. Oh, you're going to get his ass, aren't you? Yeah, going to get Gunship. Gunship. Oh. We don't expect anything but him. That was a glorious kill. That was amazing. Bonsai charge. I've never seen one. The tech tree version is probably even better. I just don't have it, so I can't, oh, I can't say that. Um, I'm gonna take him out. I'm saying him in, in the main guns of this. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm doing a of this. <laughs> Uh, early, which is a lighter version. Oh, I get that. Yes. No. You did it. Yeah, did it. Oh boy.